Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. And I'm Kevin. And we are back. It's been a while. It's been some time, but it's good to be back. It is. We're here with another battle report. Uh, the studio under renovation, but it is... It's looking good. Which looking progress good. is getting there. Yeah, it's playable, right? We're, so we're here. Now we've got a few exciting things to talk about. Firstly, Kevin's oh, shirt. New merchandise. New merchandise. We will, uh... We're gonna link out to a store to get some... Yeah, yeah, we're still doing some production runs, you know, but we, I think, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm pretty yeah. happy with it. Uh, second exciting thing. Let's talk about campaigns. So, to date, all of our battle reports have been sort of ad hoc, right? Mission here, mission there. Uh, there really hasn't been any overarching story uh, to our missions, but that all changes tonight. So we have... Bringing uh, the lore back. Bringing the lore back. So we've got... <laughs> Uh, campaign style battle reports. So what you're going to see is some story arcs. We're going to release yeah. um, series of battle reports. The result of this battle report, for example, will affect the outcome of next week's battle report. So each battle report will kind of build off the last right. until we wrap up that particular campaign. And there'll be like short seasons in a way where we're going to go through exactly. four or six bat reps until we feel like the story is satisfied. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So real excited. So tonight we've got a 5,000 point recon mission. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys have seen recon before. Um, so coming up, we'll talk a little bit about the background of the mission, but essentially Helen forces sneaking into FedCom space. They're staging in Bora 5 on a moon in the system. And the Fed song. Well, you don't know this yet. Well, this is I all mean, hearsay. This is all this is all rumor. <laughs> rumor. But but the Fed Suns, they're sending a small detachment to the moon to check things out. Uh, so if I win the recon, again, you know, that's gonna have impact to next week, right? I will be mm -hmm. aware of Kevin's trickery. Uh, but if Kevin wins, he'll be able to raid Bora 5 and the Fed Suns will be unaware. I think he's giving away too much. Well, it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> I just want to wet the palate. Uh, so let's talk about forces, shall we? All right. All right. Uh, so I'll go first. So I'm playing the Royal Sun Grenadiers, my, my token Federated Suns force. Um, and I'll be the attacker. So I have a, uh, a Whitworth, which is slow, but packs some LRM. So I'm hoping that that guy's going to be able to punch a hole you know, in Kevin's force, allowing my, uh, you know, my faster mechs to get in and out. Uh, secondly, speaking of speed, I have a Commando Com 2D, uh, another one of my favorites in terms of, you know, bang for buck. Of course, it's a walking bomb, but hopefully it'll stay alive. Uh, I got a Wolfhound uh, 1A, solid energy-based mech. Um, and then lastly, I've got the Raven 2X. So one of, my, one of my favorites. One of your favorites. I mean, you, you're you a 4X kind of guy. I'm a 2X kind of guy. Um, I like the large laser. I, I Go always, back and forth. It's yeah, just the Raven. It's the Raven's a great mech. So, you know, moderate speed, but lots of armor uh, and just uh, terrifying amounts of damage for a mech of that size, in my yeah. opinion. Uh, so Heavy lights. Heavy <laughs> lights. <laughs> so what are you bringing? So I have leading my pack of the 8th Capellan Chargers. This is one of Aaron's units that I am gracefully borrowing and hopefully getting killed off. <laughs> uh, but I'm playing a Vindicator 1R. Uh, so this guy, LRM5, PPC, medium laser. I removed the small laser Smart. and packed that with a little armor, I believe. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I got the Blackjack uh, 1DC. So that's going to be two AC2s and four mediums. Okay. Uh, got the Jenner, so my Speedster, four medium lasers, and I removed the SRM for, um, it's just too much heat. I know yeah. that Jenner's going to run hot, so yeah. I'm just trying to run efficiently. What did you do with the tonnage? I'm, I'm afraid to Armor. ask. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah. Usual. I, yeah. like to, I like to make them beefy. A little beefy, yeah. yeah. And then the Panther 9R, okay. pretty much stock. So all right, well PPCs are always deadly in right. a match of this I got size. A decent amount of range, nothing serious, no real good fire support, but yeah. I'm going to be doing a little sniping and chasing, which is pretty much. Well, I will warn you that my Whitworth has a gunnery of one. He is a seasoned, wow. seasoned veteran of many battles, <laughs> so beware. The all LRMs right. are coming. <laughs> all right. So that said, we're going to head over to the board. We're going to get this thing started. I will pick my objective in secret, and then. We will kick this thing off, so stay tuned. That is coming right up.
we are back after deployment. Uh, so I have secretly picked my objectives. Kevin has one, two, three potential recon opportunities for the Grenadiers, but he does not know which of those three <laughs> I'm going after. <laughs> and it's just one, right? It's just one. Uh, I have I have written that down on a piece of paper and on the other get side of the three room. inches to scan that. That's right. I forget what, and and I believe nine turns. If I don't if I don't scan the objective in nine turns, you win. Um, and then I need to get back off the board in eighteen turns. But hopefully, uh, we're in bed long before right. eighteenth <laughs> turn. <laughs> I'll be right. playing it out in my head. Uh, so <laughs> deployment uh, looks like we both did a pretty tight formation up the center. I don't want to reveal anything. Right. Um, I got my mediums on the flanks, my two lights in the middle. Yeah, and nothing and too exciting. Similarly, I've got my bigger guys out here on the flanks. Well, I guess he's kind of big too. I shouldn't judge him by his height, um, but the commando in the middle. So where will we go? I don't know. Do you want to roll some initiative here? Let's do it. Now, some of our viewers, Kevin, have been disappointed uh, with the fact that you've won initiative pretty much every turn since the inception of Death well, from Above. We're going to let that disappointment continue. Oh my lord. Oh, it's a tie! Oh. <laughs> it's a tie! Seven, ten, of course. All right, so Kevin continues the hot streak, wins initiative, turn one, coming right up. All right, we're back after movement. So, uh, of course, shockingly, Kevin wins the initiative. Uh, so the Grenadiers uh, moved. I started... Uh, with the Whitworth, getting them up on the hill, trying to get some good fire support positioning. Um, we did alternate, but just for my side, nobody's in range. Everybody basically just moved ahead uh, full speed. Okay, what about on your side? Yeah, likewise, the Blackjack came up behind this fuel tank here. Uh, the other three are sort of moving up towards the mountain here. Uh, All right. Nobody's in range. Okay. See you next turn. Well, I mean, the Blackjack's <laughs> in range. You sure don't want to try for a headshot on the commando. It could be glorious. Nah. We don't, we don't, we don't want to give away our strength. Uh, understandable. We're Let's not see. even sure if you're hostile yet. This could be reinforcements. It could be. All right, guys. We are back after movement. Shocking turn of events. I won initiative. Uh, so Kevin had to move first. But I'll, I'll recap my side. Now, we had a couple of questions in the comments asking what these hexes are uh, that we put on the field. And that's just a reference point for you guys to know where the mechs started and where they moved to, um, just to kind of give you an idea, since we don't film movement in real time, as you veteran Battletech players know, the movement phase can be time consuming. But that said, what did we do? Actually, you know what, Kevin, since, since, you, uh, since you lost, why don't, you, why don't you kick us off? All right. So the blackjack sees the action going that way. He cut across coming up this way. He's going to be trying to shoot his two AC2s down at that Whitworth down there. The Panther moved up behind this uh, radar dish and is going to be firing over the hill to that Wolfhound with his PPC. Similarly, the Vindicator moved up on the hill firing down at the Wolfhound with PPC and the LRM5. Mm. And uh, the Jenner... Cut across the hill, like cutting across this way, but not firing anything. All right. Well, yeah, definitely weapons are, are flying now. So this Whitworth moving up the ridge is going to respond in kind, firing uh, two LRM-10s down at that blackjack. Uh, the Raven kind of turning in, coming up the hill, moving into a more central spot. He's going to blast a large laser across at that Vindicator. That Jenner is unfortunately out of range. Uh, Commando just doing his thing. Uh, Wolfhound trying to get out of range of that PPC, um, just impossible to do so. But regardless, I'm in large laser range now, so I'll be firing at that Vindicator as well. So, shooting, coming right up. You ready, Kevin? Oh, yeah. I'm ready too. All right, stay tuned. All right, starting with the Capellans. Kevin, are you ready? I am. So the Blackjack is starting us off with his two AC2s. I need 10s to hit that Whitworth. Where do you want to go? We'll go right here. Whoa! Oh boy! All right, so location. If I, I can like not it. pick up rocks. I don't like it. All right, next up that Panther's firing over the crest of that hill to the Wolfhound. PPC shot needs an 11. Whoa, pretty good. You lose initiative, but 
sniping. I was always good with the PPC. Oh man, so alright, so it's another so left man. leg, yeah. yeah. Alright, Vindicator now, firing into Wolfhound with the PPC in LRM5. He needs 10 and 11 respectively. Or in reverse. Ugh. Whitworth, the leader of the pack here. Veteran pilot sighting down the blackjack. It's gonna need eights to hit on his LRM tens. Now, this Whitworth is stacked. Here we go. Well, it looks good. Raven up next. The last thing that indicator on the ridge needs nines to hit. All right, got one. And that is 11. That is going to be a left arm. arm. Yep. Wolfhound up next. Gonna try to get that Vindicator. Also needs nines. Gets it. Location. Give me a headshot. That would not be kind. Mm. Another left arm. That left arm's getting banged up. Anything, uh, anything juicy going on there? Not juicy, but it's punctured. Damage recap, turn two. All right, so starting out with the Whitworth, the Blackjack firing downrange, plinks him a couple of times in the left arm, the left leg, nothing serious there. The Wolfhound got blasted in that left leg with a PPC. Uh, that could factor in later on in the game as this is a recon mission, those legs are valuable. And lastly, the Vindicator on the Capellan side got absolutely torched in that left arm, already showing internal structure and some actuators damaged as well. All right, here we are. Uh, after movement, turn three, Kevin won the initiative, so the Grenadiers moving first. Uh, trying to take a bit of a non-committal posture here, all three of these recon objectives still in my grasp. Um, so Whitworth moving up on this ridge, uh, Raven actually making a hard pivot, tearing through these rocks uh, and into the crater there. The Commando tearing across the center here and the Wolfhound moving out on that left flank. Uh, in terms of shooting declarations, we are gonna prime up that Vindicator and see what kind of damage uh, the Grenadiers can do. So Wolfhound firing three medium lasers, Commando Alpha striking, uh, the Raven firing a large laser, and then a secondary shot at that Panther with the medium laser, and the Whitworth raining 20 LRMs down into that Vindicator as well. Mm. So, Kevin. All right. <clears throat> Blackjack moved up beside this rock. He's going to be focusing now on the Raven with everything he has. Um, Oof. Panther, it's going to be firing everything he has into the Raven as well. He moved up pet behind this rock. They see that advance. Vindicator, playing a little safe, just moved up to the top of this hill. He's going to be firing into your commando uh -oh. with his arsenal. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then the Jenner made a beeline right to uh, make contact with your Wolfhound. So he's going to be unleashing everything he has as well. So yeah. spreading my fire, unsure really where you're going to commit. Although I think I have an idea, but All right. I have to, you know. Got to play it safe. You never yeah. know. The Grenadiers, however, are not known so, for their trickery. But spreading my fire, safe. maybe something I get, you know, I get lucky. Yeah, well, hopefully we can knock out that Vindicator and punch a hole in your line. But that Can't Vindicator, that. it's that. tough. It's tough. All right, well, shooting coming right up. Here we go. Shooting phase, Grenadiers up first. So that Whitworth is an, just an excellent pilot, Kevin. He only needs I'm... fives to hit that Vindicator because they both walked. Uh, range is closing, so can I do it? I'm not sure why they sent a clan pilot onto this random moon, but... <laughs> you will never understand the political mechanisms behind. Mm. All right, so uh, double hit. We're going to roll for clusters here. Uh, so that's both. both on the first LRM-10. That's 20 missiles. So guys, good news. We're going to start out with, a, with an automatic piloting check for that Vindicator at the end of the phase here. But let's see what kind of damage we can do. We've got 20 points coming in. Locations just beaming into that left arm. That is going to hurt. All right, the Raven battling for supremacy of this crater. He is going to primary fire a large laser. He's going to need a seven against that Vindicator. Ah, no good. 
Secondary shot against the Panther needs a six. No good, just taking too much fire. We're gonna move right into the Commando. So the Commando's on the other side of the board here, uh, right in the middle, and he's firing everything at that Vindicator. And we are just gonna group fire and just unload and hope to get a good piloting die here. So need an eight. Uh, just what mm -hmm. I needed. All right, so back to clusters. It's gonna be 10 clusters we need to confirm here conveniently. I've got them all right here. Looking for three or better here on the clusters. All right, so we're gonna take out some ones and twos, but not bad, six out of 10 hit. Uh, and we've got the medium laser here as well. Rolling up for location, we're looking, hoping for something on that left side because that Whitworth pilot just drilled the Vindicator. So let's see what we can get here. There is some precious ammo in there. Okay, so we have, uh, and we got a couple, we got a couple. We'll see what happens. All right, so walking through fire, that Vindicator still in one piece, the Wolfhound. I'm gonna chain fire my medium lasers. So, need eights to hit. I have three coming at the Vindicator. Shot number one is a hit. Shot number two, is a miss. Shot number three is a miss. So we get one hit, rolling for location. Now I am still in the front arc of that badly damaged Vindicator looking for an eight. If I can get an eight, I might be able to get something good here. All right, Blackjack firing into that Raven with his four mediums. He needs a 10. All right, Panther's up, firing into the Raven as well. He needs a nine and 10, nine on the PPC. Ooh, anything? Nothing at all. Man, Raven is dodging. All right, Vindicator shooting at that commando. He needs eight and tens. This could be, this could be bad for the commando. All right, Jenner is gonna pull it all through for me and bring back hope to the cause of the rebels. Four mediums, I need an eight. An eight. That's oh. achievable. Sure you don't want to chain fire? I mean, I feel like... Chain firing's for... For wimps? Wimps. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. Oh, no. Hope is lost. How do you, how do you feel right now after just... <sighs> Please get that off me. <laughs> I like that t-shirt. Let's zoom in on that. Mm, that's a nice... You model that well. All right, uh, guys, well, that wraps whiff. up shooting, right? Complete whiff. Yeah, it's tough. It happens with the best of us. So we'll clean up this turn and we'll get into turn four. Turn three damage reports. So that Vindicator got absolutely shattered, focused down by all four mechs, lost the left arm, internal structure damage on the left torso. It is now jettisoning its ammunition. The only other notable damage this turn was uh, really none, just the Jenner building up four points of heat after an alpha strike, so we'll need to keep an eye on that heat meter. All right, movement complete in turn four. Kevin, you won the initiative, mm -hmm. so the Grenadiers had to make the first move, uh, and that was just getting this Whitworth up on the hill here. Uh, I have a nice commanding line of sight. Uh, I feel real good about his position there, even with that Panther bearing down. Um, you know, also later I moved that Raven down uh, through the crater, trying to divide your forces up. Uh, and then I made my move here on the left side of the board. So Commando coming across, um, looking down at that Jenner, Wolfhound coming within three inches. It will be scanning objective three uh, and it will be firing three medium lasers up at the Vindicator. So that's what we've got going on. What about on your side? All right. <clears throat> Blackjack walked up behind this uh, water tank, fuel tank, whatever it is. Uh, he's going to be firing off to his left into that, uh, you know, t t turning and firing into the Raven there with his four mediums. Gotcha. Uh, Panther riding that ridge line to try to disrupt that Whitworth, firing his PPC and SRMs into him. Oof. Uh, Vindicator just going for money. Uh, Flanked that commando as he came in. He's going to be firing uh, the PPC and medium laser into his back. He's in the process of dumping his LRM ammo. Um, Jenner 
basically riding up right behind that uh, wolfhound and firing the three mediums into its rear. All right, well, let's get right to shooting. Grenadiers up first, starting with the Whitworth, firing across at that Vindicator, trying to take that uh, that big threat out of the game. Now, the uh, Vindicator dial up the speed a notch, so I'm going to need sixes this turn to hit. Here we go. All right, get them both. I'm going to roll for clusters. First launcher, second launcher, another full house. All right, so here we go, rolling for location. So I see a lot of right leg here. Oh, actually, you know what? I am in your left side arc. So we're going to have to go <laughs> go to the chart Consult the table. to figure this one out. We're back with the Wolfhound. So the Whitworth pilot, once again, laying some serious hurt on the left side of that Vindicator. Wolfhound just pulling the trigger, chain firing those medium lasers. Needs eights to hit. I'm in the front arc. So let's see what we can get here. That's one hit. It's two hits. Just two. All right, so we're in the front arc, uh, looking for location. Double center torso. This could be the end of days for Commando as that Vindicator is right in his rear arc, but he is gonna alpha strike down at that Jenner, try to get him off that Wolfhound. I need sevens across the board, firing SRMs, both a six and a four, and the medium laser. Here we go. That is, again, a full house. These uh, Grenadier pilots, they are seasoned. I'm not gonna lie. Too seasoned. Too, se too seasoned <laughs> to be sent on this, this boring mission here. Like um, curry, there's so much spice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, zing. Um, all right, so <laughs> I need threes on the clusters. Here we go. All right, so just gonna get rid of these here. That's even better than last time. All right, so. See what kind of damage we can do to that Jenner. Now this is no ordinary Jenner. This is basically this is basically Kevin's JR7F. I should have shot the damn Vindicator. Ah, next time. All right. Would you believe not a single floating critical, but a whole bunch. What a shame. A whole bunch to that right arm. All right. Lastly, for the Grenadiers, they are dealing the pain this round. The Raven is up now. The Raven needs fives because he is at short range uh, so that is that is all she wrote so here we go looking for fives uh, firing two mediums and an SRM six well that stinks location right leg so that's like Kevin that's like your consolation prize for an otherwise brutal <laughs> please stop putting that camera in my face <laughs> <laughs> all right well listen retributions coming up next Blackjack is starting off our desperate retaliation. He needs sevens for the four mediums into that raven over there. Okay, well, it still sucked. Well, you know, 50-50. I don't need your <laughs> my, my consolation. <laughs> I'm miserable. <clears throat> I've been there. All right, well, I think I hit your left side, and it's going to be your probably right Leg. Oh, yeah, you're right on the left arm. side arc, right? Yeah, we'll consult the tables. All right, Panther up now. SRM4, PPC into that Whitworth. He needs six and seven. Boom. Wow, somehow. Uh, clusters. Both. Wow, well, that's a sign. Something's about to happen. Oh, no. It's <laughs> <laughs> a sign. So oh, I believe, man. though, his legs are obscured. So if anything hits the legs, that's going to destroy that rock, unfortunately. So you want to roll fives and nines. All right. Well, I got a lot of something. All right. We, we missed two SRMs on the confirmation, um, but Kevin rolled them up. So that's the hit roll. We are good to go now. So it's going to be six points to the right torso, ten to the left. Yeah. Vindicator. Not All right. looking great. Left nah. side ripped off. But what can you do here to this this delicately armored rear end of the command? So he's got his PPC and his medium laser, but he needs eight and ten. It's not a very easy shot, so he's just a lot oh, of fail sauce. Are we look at minimum range on the PPC? Yeah. Well. Alright, Jenner. 
I'm going to try to save the day. He's got three mediums going into the rear of that wolfhound. He needs his eights. Lucky eights. Oi. Two of them. Yeah. All right. So looks like left arm, left leg. Now le left leg already took a PPC shot, so could, could be hurt. dangerous. Physical attacks, turn four. Jenner is going to try to kick that wolfhound right in the ass. I don't like it. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what do you need, Kev? I need a, what do we say, seven? Seven. Yeah, sounds good. All right. All Gets right. it. So that is going to be his tonnage divided by five, I believe. Right, squared. And then times the root logarithmic. Right, yeah. right logarithmic. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, what is he, 35 <clears throat> tons of seven point kick? Let's say, I don't have the table memorized, but um, I know it's one through it's behind you there. Well, well, look at that. Look at this quick reference sheet made by Kevin. Uh, so one through three is right leg. It's D1, four right? Is, yeah, four to six is left leg. So that is right leg. I dodged, the good one? I dodged the bullet. No, the left leg was the one that was all banged up. So right, we're going we're gonna to jack up those legs. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna You're not get out of here with any data. <laughs> I will not take my data. Oh man! All right. Well, the battlefield's looking grim already, and we're uh, we're just wrapping up turn four. So stay tuned. Turn five coming right up. Turn four damage recap kicking off on the Federated Sun side with the Whitworth finally taking some retaliatory fire. Uh, took a little bit on the left torso, a little bit less on the right torso overall in one piece. The Raven in the center of the field, uh, trying to command the uh, the area there, but taking fire from a couple of different angles, armor's holding tough, just damage to the left torso. The Wolfhound getting clawed, kicked, bitten, whatever they can do to try to rip those legs off, uh, but the mech is still motoring. On the Capellan side, however, not going so well. That Vindicator just decimated. Enforced withdrawal now, lost to heat sink. Ammo was successfully jettisoned, but damage now bleeding into the internal structure of the center torso. The blackjack also taking a little bit of fire in an exchange with the raven. Uh, right leg, just seeing a little bit of paint chips there, nothing serious. The Jenner, however, took a devastating barrage from the commando. Heat is up to five, and two medium lasers ripped off that mech. All right, guys, it's turn five. Things are getting tense. So, I want initiative. Critical turn uh, as the Wolfhound is attempting to escape with the data. So, Kevin, what did the Capellan Chargers do this turn? <clears throat> well, that Blackjack and the Panther are going to try to take a pursuit angle on that Wolfhound, but the Blackjack can't really get a good shot on him, so he's flipping his arms back behind him and shooting into that Raven with four mediums. The Panther is gonna be firing down on the Whitworth, like, you know, for the same reason he can't hit him. Uh, so he's gonna be shooting that PPC down at him. Uh, over here, the Vindicator's in force withdraw. So he's cutting down the hill. Luckily, he's gonna be able to get a shot off on that Wolfhound before he flees the site. And the Jenner, uh, again, just trying to get ahead of the Wolfhound, likewise cut up. He's going to be firing off. He did a torso twist and an arm flip in order to um, shoot behind him and hit that uh, Wolfhound with his two remaining medium lasers. Got it. Got it. Some fancy, fancy piloting there. Yeah. Um, so on the Grenadier's side, <clears throat> the Whitworth was a little concerned about what was going on here, so he jumped down the hill um, and is going to be firing both LRM packs at the Jenner. Uh, have a pretty high target number uh, because of jumping, but you know we'll see what we can do there. The Raven tucked around is coming back, try to put some fire on that on that Panther, so we're going to be shooting in the back of the Panther. Maybe we can find some ammo or get lucky. Uh, on the far side of the In the back board, or the right side? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I guess it is the right side, but we can pretend. <laughs> Laser pointers out. Affirmative. It is the right side. <clears throat> All right. So on this side of the board, some intense things happening. The Wolfhound took a hard pivot, tried to outmaneuver that Jenner, 
is on the lamb. He's, <laughs> he's running for his life. Uh, and uh, I got an insurance policy, commando scanning the target as well. Um, so in terms of shooting over here, the wolfhound is going to be firing in the Jenner. Um, and the commando is going to be firing just the SRMs. So it's 10 SRMs coming at this wounded vindicator, hoping to get maybe another hit on the CT, maybe generate a, a useful critical this time as opposed to you know, what I've been rolling up so far. So, uh, shooting is coming up next. We'll kick it off with the Chargers. Don't go away. All right, that Blackjack starting us off with the arm flip, firing four mediums back into that Raven. All right. <clears throat> he needs an eight. I don't like it. There's so many medium lasers here. Well, luckily for you, I am terrible today. Well, it's the, it's the Capellan Militia. All right, so All right, so that's looks the like, left arm. Yeah, you got it, left arm. All right, that Panther firing that PPC down at the uh, Whitworth. Hopefully I'll hit him. Needs a seven. Wow, just squeezed it off. Vindy up next, firing into that Wolfhound. Hopefully he can get his BV worth today, or at least a quarter of it. <laughs> ah, man, we'll see. He needs eights or nines for the PPC and uh, medium. Man, I am just doing terrible with shooting today. We're gonna jump right into the Jenner now. He needs the two mediums. He's arm flipped, torso twisted, firing backwards. It's a trick shot, but he only needs nines. I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> <laughs> Call it a night. Well, I haven't escaped yet with the date. I still have a long way to go. Opening up with the Whitworth on the Grenadier's side, firing across at that Jenner while he is aloft on his jump jets, just raining them down. Need nines. Here we go. All right, so I get one. Not bad. And we are going to roll up some clusters here. All right, so two clusters hit. That's 10 points of damage to the Jenner. And that's going to be double okay. center torso. This uh, Whitworth pilot, something special. We're gonna stay on that Jenner, so Wolfhound firing into the right side arc of the Jenner. Three medium lasers, only need sixes to hit. Here we go. All right, so two thirds here, not bad. Just hoping for more, but that is 20 points to the Jenner. Uh, we've got a right torso and a left arm. Just kidding, because we're in the right side arc. <laughs> Is going to be a right leg. Right leg, and then 11 is what? Left leg. Left leg. Boring. This is the Jenner? Yeah. Boring, but better than nothing. All the action on this side of the board. Commando's going to need sevens. Trying to finish off that wounded Vindicator. So here we go. Big, big one is the uh, SRM6. The little guy is the SRM4. Sevens is what I need. Well, we got the six. So we're going to grab six clusters here. Two, four, six. Roll for location. No, I gotta roll for clusters first. Yeah. Alright, all but one. Now, need some sevens. Sevens would be good. Sevens or eights. Or tens or elevens, actually. That whole left side's doing pretty bad. Alright, what do we got? Let's see. Critical hit engine. Alright, Raven firing into the back of the Panther. I need sevens, SRM six, two medium lasers. Here we go. Looking great. All right, Kevin, I don't think this is your day today. I seem to have all the luck here. It's the new studio. I get to, I gotta get some sort of return on investment here. It's because I'm not playing my own units. That's true. It's drive rigged to your dice. You don't have your own dice. <laughs> Tampered with the targeting computers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got five of the six SRMs hitting. <clears throat> Two medium lasers, so that's 20 damage, if my math is correct here. This is in the right side arc of the Panther. That table I do not have memorized yet. But look, uh, look at all of this. I almost dropped the camera. But luckily, all of these are gonna transfer down to the CT. So it's one headshot. Not lucky. And we got a whole bunch to the CT. Turn five damage report on the Fed Sun side. The Whitworth gets cracked in the left arm with a PPC 
Armor's hanging tough. Uh, that mech is now up to two points of heat. Otherwise, though, just laying down the pain. The Raven, still in command of the center of the field. Uh, getting shot, but not taking a whole lot of damage. A little bit of paint chipping on that left arm. Now, onto the Capellan side, things are looking bleak. That Vindicator just continuing to get blasted in the CT. Now taking two Fusion Engine critical hits and spiking up to 10 heat. The Jenner uh, continues to take damage, mostly neutered due to the loss of two lasers. Uh, CT showing a little bit of damage, but otherwise that mech still contributing to the battle. Uh, the Panther got absolutely drilled by that Raven. Uh, headshot. Pilot is still conscious. That mech is up to three heat now. All right, it's only turn six, and the Grenadiers are making a run for it. Uh, I won initiative again, so this is a turn of events here. Uh, it is a weird night at Death From Above Wargaming. So, the Chargers. What happened? That's going to be the story in the newspapers. <laughs> What happened? <laughs> what happened? Oh, man. Uh, so, they're all converging on that wolfhound, more or less. So they are. Blackjack and Panther came over the top of the hill. The <clears throat> Vindicator is basically in retreat, but squeezing off some last shots. And the Jenner is trying to keep pace with that wolfhound. And all of them are firing a variety of PPC um, into that... Uh, Wolfhound, the Vindicator, and the Panther firing the PPCs into him. The Blackjack's firing his two AC2s into him, and the Jenner's turning and firing four medium or the two medium, sorry, into him. Um, it's because some some tough shots to make, but yeah, that's all I can do. Yeah, well, that uh, that Wolfhound is moving at a good clip. So you know, starting there, basically, he took off um, just trying to keep some range from those central mechs. The Commando just pivoted uh, on a dime and is also taking off with some valuable recon data in case that Wolfhound doesn't make it to the dust off site. Uh, the Raven came up and over the hill. Uh, he's actually going to be firing uh, on that Panther, two mediums, SRM-6. The Whitworth just planted and he's going to try to shatter this Panther. Uh, 20 LRMs and a medium laser. I only need threes and fours to hit there, so that's exciting stuff. Uh, and then shooting on this side, the Commando, torso twisting, still looking at that juicy left side of the Vindicator, so we're going to see if we can take him out of that fight. That PPC is just terrifying. Um, and then the Wolfhound can exchange some uh, pleasantries here with the Jenner. So that's what we've got going on. So guys, stay tuned. Here we go. That um, Vindicator in retreat, but going to try to hit that Wolfhound in the back. He right. needs tens on that PPC. No good. Almost. All right, Panther's turn. PPP, 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 PPC shot into the Wolfhound. Uh, also needs a 10. No good. All right, it's the Jenner's turn. Torso twist arm flip, two mediums. He needs nines. Whoa, no good. Blackjack's up. He needs tens. AC twos. Not hopeful. Mm. Rightfully so. Well, it is, as you said, not a great day for the Capellans. Whitworth kicking it off, aiming at that Panther. So, LRM's only going to need a three to hit. Medium laser needs a four to hit. All right, so that's, that's looking good. So we're gonna do some cluster confirmation. 10 missiles, 20 missiles. This dude is on fire. Talk about tampering with the targeting computers. All right, so this is in the Panther's left side arc. Here we go. All right, so I see some nines, uh, which is like right torso. Looks like a little bit of right arm, so we'll, we'll figure this out. Raven coming up on the uh, opposite side of that Panther who is in a world of hurt right now, and need eights across the board. Um, debating on whether or not to chain fire, but I think we're gonna group fire this up. I'm feeling, feeling lucky. All right, here we go. Mm, all right, so just a medium laser here. And that is going to be 
a nine on the right side arc, which is what? Looks like a left torso. So nothing too great there. That was fun. All right, here he is, the commando, twisting, blasting a bunch of SRMs, hoping to get a crit, but I am gonna need eights to hit. I am going to chain fire these guys. All right, so I miss with the SRM four. Lucky you did. Bigger die is the SRM six. Still a miss. So SRMs sail past that Vindicator. He lives to fight another day. Ducking and weaving the Wolfhound, firing three medium lasers into the Jenner. Needs nines, uh, so we will be chain firing. Miss. Hit. Hit. All right, so we get two. I do have to roll them separately, though, as that is the normal uh, chain firing rules here. So the first hit is a four. Now, the question is, I am in your right side arc for sure there. So it's a four on the right side arc, and the second one is a five on the right side arc. Turn six damage report, the Capellans. Bad news, not a single point of damage inflicted to the Fed Sun side. The Jen are taking a little bit more damage from that Wolfhound, but the real story here is the Panther getting ripped into by both the Whitworth and the Raven, caught in a pain sandwich, uh, right side ripped off, and now that mech is in force withdrawal. are on the battered moon of Bora 5. The reconnaissance mission is a success. The Capellans pulling back. They have been outed. They're routed. <laughs> outed and routed, routed, routed is, the, is the right term. And so now the Federated Sons know they're coming. The Capellans decided to just cut their losses and prepare immediately for their invasion. So what do the Capellans have up their sleeve? We'll find out next week. But for now, we'll go to our after action. Whatever they had up their sleeve, it's it's been foiled. <laughs> well, you know, we'll see. I mean, listen, they still uh, they still control the moon. So, you know, hopefully you just don't uh, break the uh, Ares Convention right. and fire any nuclear warheads into Bora 5. It's a great, <laughs> it's a great vacationing spot. Uh, so that would be tragic. Uh, but stay tuned for our after action report, guys. That is coming up. Just a minute. Woo! All right, there it is. Campaign mission one, all wrapped up. Five thousand points. A route. I was very disappointed. That was probably my most depressing match yet. <laughs> Playing a force I didn't recognize. Just uh, I was just kind of caught. On call flat-footed. Call yeah. flat-footed. And uh, I think you probably. I think tonight's rolling was potentially. I don't know if we could get worse. I think you hit maybe like five times out of every shot. Yeah. I think uh, I only over. hit really the wolfhound. Hit him in the leg, so yeah. I had potential to cripple him but started strong with that ppc to the oh, left yeah. leg right because he was my runner the whole game uh i by the way objective three was in fact the objective i was just scanned it twice yeah. i didn't I didn't officially declare that um but uh that was the objective so um you know some things that worked for me was the whitworth <laughs> the whitworth was was <laughs> mid max the the whitworth. <laughs> potentially a candidate for our next mech review I'd uh, we'll love to see how this thing does on the charts, but especially yeah. with the gunnery, the gunnery right. skill really made that thing excel. Yeah, and you made the point off camera that you know you didn't, you really can't commit to focusing to it because you have to focus on the the recon right. mechs, right? And so it can just sit back there and rein in these elements. You've had a lot of recon experience <laughs> uh, I, on on your end of it. I mean, Tom has. I think Tom and I played two or three times. We have at least two battle reports up with recon yeah. where he's the attacker in both of them. So. Um, you know, it was interesting to, to be on the opposite end of it, yeah. for sure. But the Wolfhound's great mech. I mean, one of your favorites. Yeah. Um, and just tough, right? Reliable. I kind of knew early on, too, that that was the objective and the Wolfhound was going for it. But <laughs> I didn't want to overcommit. I really should have, maybe. Right. Right. Well, I was um, trying to keep the Raven out on the one side. <sighs> I'm not sure if it would have mattered, though, because that Whitworth, man, that thing is nasty. Nasty. He's nasty. Yeah. Um, he just tore that. That Vindicator got ripped apart. 
I felt bad for him. Yeah, I mean, I hit that left side consistently yeah. the entire game, and it just tore right through him. Um, Panther, same thing. We just ripped him apart, put him in force withdrawal, and that's really, um, you know, I think what would mm -hmm. force the, the the full concede was you know, just having both of those mechs. And I think if I would have done withdrawal. anything differently, it would have been going with lighter mechs and better piloting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or, you know, gunner, gunner better pilots yeah. in general. Yep. Just um, that extra armor didn't really make a difference when I couldn't land any shots. Right, and the Jenner gets very expensive when you go from the D to the F. I mean, it's yeah. like a 760 to like a 1011 or something like that. Yeah. It's substantial. It's a few hundred BV. Um, and then when you multiply that with, you know, the piloting and, and the gunnery, you're right, it really stacks up. And you were running, what, mostly threes in the gunnery? Yeah, all yeah. across the board. And, you know, with those faster mechs, right? I mean, it's like that 2D6 curve we always talk about in the mech reviews. It just gets harder. It's like exponentially harder. Uh, to hit, I right? missed that seven right. seven hex movement bonus. You know, uh, that's yeah. the targeting bonus. Right, right, yeah. I'm um, used to running faster mechs, so. Yeah, it's yeah. Really missed. But, you know, it's exciting because next week, I know you're coming. So I'm going to be planning very carefully. I think the, the Fed Suns, I don't know, i got to figure out what mission is coming up next, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. We, yeah, we're, we're the Capellans are, uh, you know, they're, they, they've been caught unawares mm -hmm. in, so maybe in what they intend to be a surprise. So this is an interesting turn. Dial up some mercenary help here now to, to yeah. get you out of this bind, but we'll see. So guys, stay tuned. Uh, you know, we're going to try to, again, get back on our regular schedule here where, you know, we'll try to turn out a battle report at least, you know, at least once a week here. We'll, no promises, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. Um, and so, you know, hopefully in a week you'll, you'll see, you know, the next mission here. Um, so thanks again. Appreciate everything that you guys have done. Love all the comments. Keep them coming. Uh, you know, tell your friends about us. Uh, I mentioned this in the mech review. We're over 300 subscribers now. Uh, we've only been active for a little over three months, so it's really excellent. Appreciate all the community support. Yep. Um, so keep that up. Uh, other than that, thanks again. Stay tuned. Yeah, more on the way. Take care, guys.